and we should be live. Welcome everyone to what was supposed to be a Red Dead Redemption 2 stream. Why don't we go full screen here? It's supposed to be Red Dead Redemption 2 stream here today, but a friend of mine in my Brickitech Discord by the name of Emil let us know that there was a Steam sale going on on a lot of the Truck Simulator titles. In fact, Euro Truck Simulator 2 is only $4.99 right now, which has got me tempted. But you guys know I'm invested into American Truck Simulator. And because of that, I thought, hey, let's get some new states. Let's go in there and look around. And like, they're all on sale, except for, I think, Wyoming, which is the newest one. Uh, so I started small. I ended up getting the Pacific Northwest bundle, which if we go back over here to my actual PC, I'll show you what we actually have unlocked now. It's sweet. So you guys recognize California, where we've been. We've been living in California, right? But look at us going up here. We not only have California, but we also have Oregon, which is this section right here. We've got Washington, which is right above that. I can't, I can't move up that far with my controller. We've got Washington and we got Idaho. So we got three new states to explore. So this is where we were. This is California. We got Arizona, Nevada. We've, we've experienced all the stuff that you see on the yellow roads there. Like we barely even been to Arizona. Like we haven't even been to Flagstaff. We barely been to Nevada, but here we are with three new states. I'm just excited to see what they look like. Uh, let me know on the audio for the desktop guys. Cause I've been kind of, uh, been playing around with things, so hopefully it's okay. I also got my transmission situation figured out in my truck, how I can now use my controller to shift and things don't get all weird. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Let's do some truck driving. Right now I'm in Bakersfield where my garage is, and we need to get all the way up to, uh, we need to get to Oregon. I want to drive through Oregon today. So why don't we pick up a job here in Bakersfield, or maybe in Huron, possibly, if I can. Uh, and then we'll we'll make our way north. We need we need to go north is what we need to do. So let me look at the job market. And I'll do a freight job. We're gonna pick up a trailer and we're gonna just gonna start somewhere around here and and try to take something north. Oh, there isn't much much in this way. Oh, that one that one does that takes us a bit. Fifteen ninety nine per mile. That's not good money though. That's not very good money. That one does the same thing at thirty one dollars. Let's look around. How about Fresno? What do we got coming out of Fresno for some good money? We got some good money. Uh, let me show you here. Let me show you here. Oh, gasoline. 36. That doesn't take us very far. I, I kind of... No, it's the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Uh, that one's a little better. A little better. Fresno doesn't have much. Huron doesn't have much. Um, what about Bakersfield? What do we got coming out of Bakersfield that would take me to where I want to go? I'm not too concerned about the money. I just need to get north. None of these are really doing what I'm what I'm hoping for here. That one sorta takes us into Nevada territory. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on. I, I I know I'm kind of hiding it a little bit, but I'm looking at all these routes to see which one the best the best one. These ones pay like absolute crizz app. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go f out of Huron, and I am that's only f I think I'm gonna take this. It's twice as much money. To take these cables, 37,000 pounds from here on all the way up to uh, to Redding. And that gets us pretty close to the California border. I mean, close enough, I'd say. Audio is great. Thanks, Liam. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it when you guys let me know. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. You let me know when I get into the truck, though, okay, Liam? You're my guy. Uh, let's take this job. How do I accept the job? It says set as GP. Oh, yeah, I have to drive there. I have to drive to Huron. All right. I already have the truck in reverse, and it's backing up already. So uh, we're good to go. I should I should uh, leave the, the view. Oh, f that was on me, bro. That, that was on me. I just lost $800. Can we, um, <laughs> can we get a redo? I'm sorry, dude. I uh, was not prepared for that. Go ahead. Go ahead. That was on me. That was on me. All right. Uh, let's make sure there's no c cars behind us. I even left the truck so that wouldn't happen. That was totally on me. Uh, if you guys... Oh, you know what? I have these backwards. I have to switch them. I'm trying to think of how I, I would have it in uh, Forza. Let me show you the options that I have set up here. So if I go into keys and buttons, and then there's uh, engine, shift up, shift down... I want shift up to be this, and I want shift down to be this. 
There we go. I think we should be good now. This is how I used to play Forza when I play in standard transmission. All right, drive it. Let me make sure it still works. Oh, f butter. Sounds fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's drive to Huron, boys and girls. I'm just excited to get up to Oregon. That's our main goal for today. I want to see what Oregon looks like. Because we've been, we've been in the desert. We've been in California. we got to get ourselves up to the northwest. Let me get a quick drink here while I'm sitting at this red light. 90 degrees outside today. How's the fuel looking? We got we got enough gas to get where we're going, I think. I'm now responsible for my own fuel, which is unfortunate. No one wants to pay for gas in these California prices. Hopefully it's a little better up in Oregon. Driving this beautiful Kenworth. With, I'm probably going to switch into a Mack truck eventually. When I hire on another driver, we're going to go into a Mack. That's going to be pretty cool. Are you just going to chill there? Okay, I'm going. I'm going there, boss. All right. Get our bearings. It's so weird to go from playing uh, Grand Theft Auto, or Grand, Grand Turismo, not Grand Theft Auto. I do enjoy playing that, to this. It's very different gameplay. Very different controls, very different speeds. <laughs> I'm not hitting the apexes here. Game audio is good, maybe a tick louder. I'll keep it a little low. If it's if it's too low, that's probably better than being too loud because it sucks when we're having a conversation. All you hear is bum 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 bum. But if we need to move it up, we certainly can. Audio is good. Okay, sounds fine. I'll take fine. Let's drive out to here on California. See what's going on as we make our way up to the new Oregon. Oregon. I'm excited. I like this game a lot. I've been liking everything I've been playing. It's all been good. Oh, I'm going way over over speed here. These guys are getting on the highway. I am not. I'm continuing on 58. We got a bit of a situation up here. It looks like the highway patrol has pulled over somebody. Having a bad day right now. You never see the cop, though. You never see anybody. Maybe that'll change once we get to Oregon. Maybe the graphics will improve. Because these expansions, they came out later. This, I think... Oregon and Washington are the oldest ones, so it might not be like night and day, but when we get out to Colorado, if I download that, you're going to see a huge difference, I think. That one, I th that one's about $8, I think, to download, which, dude, like, right now, into this game, I'm about $18 into this game, and I have gotten so many hours. This is my eighth episode, and I play this for, I mean, you could go back and look how long each episode is. I've streamed every time I've played this. For $18? What a steal. I mean, it's it's a truck driving simulator. It's nothing fancy or amazing, but I like it. Okay, we gotta get over here. See where we go, and... If you guys are wondering how I know where I'm going, you can see that GPS down on the bottom left-hand side. That kind of tells me where to drive to. Turning this way. When in your life are you going to get to drive an 18 wheeler through California? Probably not often. But we're doing it right now. Can I do a live stream of Clark playing GTA? Probably not. The game's not really appropriate. Like, even with. Like, not doing the missions and stuff like that. There's, a, there's like, swearing, and it's pretty violent. I don't think that's a great game for a young one to play. You know what I mean? It's fun for driving around, and it's, it's open world, so it gives you a lot of things to do. But it's not a great game for kids, necessarily. We did a stream earlier that... Oh, shoot, I'm going... I'm going, uh, 70. I lost my cruise control button, but I think I remapped it. Let me see if I can set it. Yeah, I got it. We did a stream earlier. We built the mini Disney castle, at least half of it. Working on the... Probably the rest tomorrow, I'd say. Clark's home with me because he is... He's sick. He's got a sinus infection. He's sleeping right now. So I got this message about this DLC, and I'm like, Hmm. Don't mind if I... 
check it out. And then I, I downloaded it and I looked at the map and I'm like, you know, I got to get on here. Okay, I can buy. It scared me. It said I can bypass the next wait station. I can never tell if my headlights are on or not. There they are. If you don't turn your headlights on soon enough in California, they will hit you with a fine. And I don't appreciate that. So I don't have to get weighed in up here. We are going to be get driving through the night, which is going to suck. It's Right now it's 8.02 p.m. on a Tuesday. I've got $20,000 to my name after buying this truck. I paid my own money for it. I didn't take out any loans or anything. I am considering it, though. I'm considering taking out a loan to buy an upgraded garage so I can store more than one truck. I'm then going to buy a second truck and hire a driver on so he's out there making money while I'm doing work, too. And ideally, he would make more money than it costs me, so I'd have money coming in like crazy. I mean, after I pay the loans off and stuff. So what I'd probably do is give him this truck, and then he would, uh, or I would drive the Mac truck that I'm thinking about buying, the Mac Anthem. I'm supposed to use my cruise. I have this thing just, I'm sending it. Did my cruise turn off? No indicator on the dash. There, cruise is working. I'm getting off the next exit up here. Fresno. Where the heck's Huron? Wait, this can't be right. This can't be right, can it? Am I really going to the right place? Wow, that's a that's a drive. Oh my god, it's gonna be a ways for me to get to Oregon. That was a drive from just from Bakersfield there. Oh my gosh. Pretty nuts. Wait, I thought my thing was in here, here on. Where am I at right now? Oh, I'm getting there. I guess it's close. I'm going to this place in here on right there. Bitumen. Can't remember what I'm picking up. I never remember my, my actual jobs. I'm like, where am I going? What am I doing? Clark needs a hazmat suit for school. He does. Yeah, he got a cold. And from what I understand, the doctor said oftentimes what happens is a kid will get a cold like that and then they'll get a little better but because their body's been fighting this uh, this infection off or fighting like this virus off they then get an infection like a an infection in their their nasal passage which is what he has so he's got a fever and that's never fun but he's doing pretty good overall. He's still trucking along. He's just sleeping a lot more now. And that is unlike him. Because he does not like to sleep. Because he doesn't like to miss out on everything that's going on. But who does, really? When you got all this fun stuff. Um, Picking up gas. Yeah, I will on my way. I'm sure we'll pass by a gas station. There goes a shooting star. We got uh, about... I'd say about two-thirds of a tank, three-quarters of a tank right now. We're, we're definitely going to need some gas going up to Oregon, though. This is going to take us most of the way, so I thought, you know, if we're driving to Oregon, let's make some money on the way up there. Might as well make a little bit of money. Oh, sorry, buddy. Hit him with those high beams. It's going to be our... I'm not going to say our last time in California, but there's so much else to explore that I feel like we've we've kind of seen California for what it is at this point. What do we got going on here? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, this is going to be interesting. Red light violation. You scallywag. I didn't even realize. Okay. That was on me too. I violated that red light right there. <laughs> There's no other cars out here. Let's drive into this. We're gonna have to back into that spot. It's gonna be kind of kind of nightmarish. All right. Yep, taking it. 
That was kind of sucky. Trailer's ready. I knew that was gonna happen. How much money did we lose on that? I I don't even I, I didn't want to know. We'll back around in there. Can you guys tell a graphic upgrade at all? Because I moved the graphics up a few streams ago. Back her up a little bit more. Hooked on. Everything looks good. Put her in uh, dry. Nobody can, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, I was like, is this one way? I'm good. Who exactly find me on that anyway? Like, who even knew that I drove that red light? That seems excessive. I've lost some money on this trip so far. Man, this is a heavy load. My truck is struggling. I think we need to get like an upgraded engine for our next truck. If we get the Mac, we need to beast that thing out. Like, massively. Keep surprising with how oddly satisfying this game is to watch. I, I agree. I think it's... I'm shocked how many people watch me play this. I say it every time I do a stream. It's not just the people that are watching live, though. It's the people that are watching after the fact. Like, this is my most popular thing that I do outside of Minecraft. <laughs> or that we do, I should say. And it, it's just crazy, because it's such a boring game, right? Like, it's it's... There's nothing to see. It's a guy taking a trailer through California in the middle of the night. We're going to get there at 4.51 a.m. God willing. I'm going to do a quick pause, though. I'm going to listen back to the stream just to make sure I'm okay with the audio. Because it's such a boring game, right? Like, it's... it's there's no yeah, we definitely... Whoever said we needed more game audio, you were right, sir. You are right. We need to pump that up a little bit more. Oh, you know why? My desktop audio is muted. There was no... Oh, boy, I feel like a failure. I've been going back and forth between um, between listening to my headphones with Red Dead, and now it's all fricked. So you guys weren't hearing any of my, my trucking sounds. For that, I'm very apologetic. Now we're, we're going to need a new test. <laughs> it definitely wasn't too loud. Um, let's, let's, you can probably hear it now. I am so sorry. How, how deep are we into this? Too far in to be making mistakes like that. You would think, hey, I turned my lights off, dude. Can you hear the game now? Here's what you were missing. You could hear my backup lights, though, and my backup sounds when I was doing that reverse. Is that better? Is that better? I'll hit the chat here at this stop sign, too. I'll get you guys caught up. If that truck audio is not loud enough or too loud, you holler at me. You let me know. I'm going to sit here for just a second to make sure we can hear what we hear. Much better, much better. Sorry, I, I doubted you, Chris. I'm sorry, man. Uh, one, I'm just listening to the stream for relaxation while playing Minecraft. Yeah, that's fine, man. It's it's more of an audio experience than a visual one. Uh, this is so cool. Um, yeah, I think we got everything. I want to be a member, but I only do like one or two memberships at least I'm a member. Yeah, you do. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the stream. You guys just enjoy the heck out of this. Hopefully, now that you can hear it, it'll probably help. Probably out. There's the cops. Let's let's act natural. You guys ready to ready to drive through the night? Okay, let's let this guy go. I might cut into the other lane. Ooh, that's my truck. That was the Mac Anthem. Here we go. God, I, my my view is jacked. Okay, we're we're good. It's such a heavy load though that this truck can't handle. As you can tell, I have like the base Kenworth that I'm driving. And it struggles with, this is like 33,000 pounds I'm pulling right now. But I wanted to make really good money while I drive up through California and not just piddly money, so. That's what we're doing. I'm hoping that I can find some easy gas station along the way. That would be nice. But we'll worry about that later. It'll be okay. So we still have well over half a tank. If I have to get off at the exit and search for gas, we can do it. I don't know what towns or cities are coming up. But we're fine. I'll put my high beams on so I can actually see a little bit. Hard to see. 
nothing to see. It's like driving through space. Chugging along, 58 miles an hour. Speed limit 55. I have it to the floor. This thing is not going any faster than this, especially up these hills. We're now speeding, and I'm going to put us in cruise control. Hopefully it stays. Not at 62, though. We're going down a hill, which is not helping. 61. There's gas at this. See, there's gas at, like, every single town, so I'm fine. I would be curious to see what happens if you run out of gas in the truck. Does it just end at that point? Do they, like, just bill you for the gas and fill your tank up? That'd be a good YouTube video to make. What happens when you run out of gas in American Truck Simulator? Probably something. We just lost all of our lighting in here. Turn this on. Get a little bit of light. Should pass this guy. A lot of truck drivers in Canada could and should use this game for practice. They don't want to do what I do. I've already been into two accidents. Well, I've ran a red light, and uh, when I was backing my truck out, I crashed into someone. So I probably could qualify to be a Canadian truck driver at this point. Gosh, YouTube knows that I love this kind of content now, too. There's that Jeff guy that I told you guys about a few streams ago, and I watched one of his vids, and like all of his stuff's populating for me, and he was flying this float plane out of British Columbia, speaking of Canada, and I was just, like, loving it. He is, like, so thorough. He has, like, the proper equipment in front of him. Like, he's got, like, the flight yoke, and he just takes this thing off out of a lake, and he's flying it and checking things out, and he's talking about wind speed and wind direction, looking at the water for, for guidance, went over this little uh, airport, and then f flew back and landed, and I was just like, dang, this is the content that I love. I'm a boring soul at heart, and all it takes to get me excited is just a little bit of uh, simulator games. He was in his truck, like he fired the truck up to listen to the sound, and he had the window go down, the windows go up and stuff. I'm like, this guy is, he's legit. I can only dream of doing that one day, but I'm having fun with myself here. With my, my Xbox One controller driving my, my $5 American Truck Simulator for the last eight episodes. I'm having a good time. And that's all that matters. And I got on a cruise control now. So as long as I don't crash it, I can chat with you guys. Uh, you call emergency services to help you get gas. Does that char Do they charge you extra for that? Is there like a premium for such things? Oh, keep it in my lane, man. Try to mess with my microphone. It's very... It, it, my setup does not work well for PC. I'm, of course, playing this on PC because it's not available for console. I wish it was, because that's what I played on. But like all my stuff's kind of supposed to be over here, but I'm over here, and it's not ideal. But it's okay. This is pretty much the only PC game that I play. Even Flight Simulator, which I should play on PC. I play on Xbox because I feel like the frame rate's a little bit better. Like, you really have to have a kitted PC to run that game properly. I don't know what it is with this game, but any every time I'm playing it, like, my my view consistently gets, like, further and further into the steering, into the steering wheel and windshield. It's very odd. Oh, you can get a speeding ticket in this game. You certainly can. Yeah, I've gotten a few. Yeah, I'm I'm on a roll. Mark says I'm on a roll with the channels. With streaming. I I just really enjoy it. This gives me an excuse to play this game. It gives me an excuse to get things done. Because I feel like, yeah, if I'm entertaining some people, this is justifiable. Otherwise, I'd be wasting my time, right? But right now, I'm having fun. And there's a couple people that are watching or listening. And thousands more in the future, probably, that will watch this which is kind of weird to think about. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying all the episodes. Let me know how many episodes of this are in the playlist when you're watching it. Did I make it to episode 100 yet? We'll probably be in Euro Truck Simulator by then. In fact, I'm thinking about downloading it because everyone's hyping it. It's the most popular one. But I like me some American trucks, you know? I like driving my Kenworth and Peterbilts across the 
the West. That's my jam. I don't know if I'll enjoy driving these Mercedes trucks and with the flat noses across Europe. I don't know. Maybe I will. It's a newer game. Maybe the graphics are better. It's way more popular amongst uh, people, I guess. Like, if you go on to Twitch and you look up American Truck Simulator right now, and you look up Euro Truck Simulator, there's probably a lot more people playing Euro Truck Simulator. There may not even be anyone playing American Truck Simulator, because last time I looked, there was like one guy and he had like one viewer watching him. I was like, I picked the right game. That was, that was wise. We should go over and do a stream on Twitch one of these days just to see how things go. I bet I could be the number one American Truck Simulator driver, but it'd only be because I'd be the only person. If there was one other person, he would definitely be better than me. We could dominate the Twitches, boys. Be like, oh, hello there, Twitch. I find, though, that even if other streaming platforms or pl other platforms in general are better for what it does, if you have an established audience already, it's best to keep them on the platform they're on because most people don't want to make that move. It's very inconvenient. You know, it's like everybody here is a YouTube person. Some of you are Twitch peeps, especially if you're into the gaming scene. But it's hard to get people to be like, yeah, I'll go over to Twitch to watch this fool play this game. Pain in my butt, I've got to go download a app, and then I've got to make a username, and i got to do all this stuff. It's not worth it. What I should do is probably stream on both. The problem is Twitch has these rules with affiliates, which I'm an affiliate on there, that they get exclusive rights to content for 24 hours, which basically bans you from streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. I could give up my affiliate status on there, and I could do that. I could stream here and there at the same exact time. I'd have to probably ignore the chat of one, which would probably be Twitch. But then you can't get any kind of like donations or membership things or whatever they call them there, subs, I guess, subscriptions. And that seems silly to, to like sacrifice all that just so you can stream the game in the same place. So what I might do is pick a game that's like really off the wall and different from what I typically do and just experiment it with over there and see what happens. Let me get into the chat here. I'll try to uh, try to read while I drive. Don't let me crash, guys. This is like texting and driving right now. Do the graphics look better to you now? Um, I I can't remember what it looked like before. I need to go back and watch like some of the streams. I think from uh, before I put the graphics from low to high. I don't know if it made a huge difference or not. I feel bad, kind of have my eye beams on with this guy. Um. Let's see. You can do uh, drive. Th can you you can drive through the Netherlands and Europe edition. I will have the coffee ready when you drive by. Oh! I'll drive by your house. Come along the highway here and just... We'll pull over real quick. Maybe I should do Euro. I think it shows some respect to my... European fans that have suffered through all of my American truck simulator content. It's only $5. I got nothing to lose. I wish I could take my mother truckers, though. And maybe you can do this. I don't know for certain. I want to take my mother truckers company and I want to move it to Europe but I want to take my money with me. I don't want to start from scratch again, that sucks. Like we've been doing all this driving so I could save up for my own truck. And even though everyone's saying I should do Euro, I don't want to like start from scratch again. Like all this would have been for nothing. And that's sad, you know? I think I'm gonna make a pass up here. Speed limit 60, or it said 65 I thought. I'm gonna try to pass this dude. I had to put the hard brakes on there. He kind of set me set me back a little bit. Now we're trying to get back up to speed. I feel like for five bucks, though, what do I have to lose? Nothing. We can try out these European trucks and see what they're like. I don't know what to expect. I don't know anything about them. I don't even know, like, what part of Europe the game takes place or if it's all. I mean, I guess it could, because, I mean, right now I have California, Arizona, and... We also have Nevada unlocked, which is a pretty sizable land area. As you can tell, like I'm, I haven't even put a dent into California yet. We're still three hours and 47 minutes away from our destination. And it doesn't even get us out of California. Like I'm driving for four hours. We're coming up on some city here. What's, is this gonna be San Francisco coming up? Saving my game, driving 63. Don't hit me with the with the fine there, boys. Sacramento. 
Sacramento, half mile. We've been up here. I think Sacramento is where I went to the Mac dealership. Pretty certain. It's nice having some highway lights on, though. Does uh, USD convert to Euro? I I don't know. I, I, I think I'd be starting over again, which would be okay. Mother truckers, uh, somebody could have to give me the translation. We'll put it into, like, German or something like that. <laughs> Does motherfuck... Oh. <laughs> Mother truckers... Boop. Does that translate into... Um, would that translate better into French or German? We should do one of the two. Uh-oh, we got something happening up here. Please don't be a detour. Can I... Oh, God. Um... Oh, shh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Got me a little scared there. Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Uh, I have to go east or west. Okay, thank you, GPS, for finally updating. Jeez. I got a little scared there. I was like, uh... I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. We should be able to get right back on, I think. Sorry I'm late. Man, you're never late. We're just driving through California on our way to Oregon. Is this blocked off too? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness for myself. Okay, uh, this, this is going to take us a lot longer now. Thanks, terrible drivers who get in accidents. They got everything blocked off. Wow. This is quite the little uh, roundabout here. Okay, we are... Uh, we now uh, lost 30 minutes of our time, pretty much. American Truck Simulator, but rated R. Uh, unfortunately, I apologize for the slip of the tongue there. Not made for kids. There's another game. If you guys like simulator games, I have, I'd have nothing... I have no idea what to do. But there's a game called... Car Mechanic Simulator, I think is what it's called. <laughs> we should give that a run. Maybe you guys can help me fix cars. I don't I don't know anything about it, but this Emil told me that there's a bunch of simulator games on sale. And if this is something that we're getting into, I'm totally down. I picture our day like we could have multiple streams where we drive across Oregon for a little bit, do a delivery, then I fly in flight simulator somewhere, then we fix a car. I still am developing my game. I don't know if I told you guys about my idea for a game. It's called Watch Paint Dry Simulator. And it, it's going to be free to play, probably. DLC like crazy. Like different colored walls and stuff. We had to make money somehow. But you just kind of turn the game on. Right? And then you sit there. Like there's like a variety of chairs. They'll, they'll be downloadable as well. Downloadable content. If you want to sit, you got to download it. You got to pay. Pay to play. And then you uh, look at a wall and watch the paint dry. In season two, we're hoping to add a fence so you could sit and watch the paint dry on like a fence. And uh, park benches, you know, all that stuff. You know, we got lots of plans for this here at uh, WatchPaintDrySimulator.com. It's where you can find the game. I think it could be a hit. If people play Fortnite. Watch Paint Dry Simulator. I would say probably in the same genre. We're also thinking about actually adding a battle royale to Watch Paint Dry Simulator, where whoever stays the longest watching the paint dry ends up winning the battle royale. Trailer damage. Holy shnikes, what did I hit? Maybe we could add like uh, incentives, different skins, you know? For, for your arms, you know, if you're crossing your arms in front of you and you're looking at them. DLC. I mean, the whole game's just going to be microtransactions. By the time you're done playing Watch Pain Dry Simulator, you're probably going to be six, seven hundred dollars into it. But you're going to have the best time of your life. You've never watched Pain Dry like this before. We're going to have the best graphics. You're going to see the, literally see the pain. Oh, we could have like fans and stuff become uh, downloadable content as well. $3.99 for like a floor fan. Upgrade to those ones that move back and forth for like $6.99 I'm thinking. Just some stuff I'm thinking about. You guys, you know, vote with your wallets if you want to play a really good game like that. 
You know where to find it. Watchpaintdrysimulator.com. If that's an actual website. <laughs> if that's it's probably an actual game. Can you imagine? This is I would make a video like this on Brickitect, and everyone would be like, I'm not buying that game! That game sounds like it sucks. Why would I want to watch paint dry? I'd be like, it was a joke. They're like, oh. Oh, I, I, oh. You don't know anything about making games. You're not a programmer. I'm not paying for that DLC. That, that's, it's all lost. The humor's lost on them. Sweet Jeebus. What, what is this? What what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Did I just go right back to the same spot I was at? I was following the GPS. Oh my lord. What do I do? I don't even know what to do at this point. It's having me do like this. It doesn't realize that the accident's there. I don't know where to go. We're burning through gas. Let me look at the map. Oh my god. Um, how do we get past this? Son of a biscuit. I don't know what to do. Let me look at the map. This is some real bull. This is some actual bull. Alright, so... God, there's... There's no other way, is there? We're up in the middle of friggin'... Am I gonna have to... I'm gonna have to go up, up this route. My god, that's gonna suck. That was like the worst spot for an accident to be. There's, there's no way I can get around this. They keep having me to go this way, but like, there's, there's nothing. It would be way better if it would have happened here, because then we got this little offshoot here. But there's no other roads. You mother trucker. Mother truckers indeed. Alright, I'm going to put a new... Uh, I'm going to put a new marker right here, I guess. We'll do that. Um... I'm gonna cancel, I guess I'll cancel this. I mean, I gotta get to Redding. I'm going to that sell goods there. This is gonna be a little uh, a little confusing. A little confusing there, boys. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna stay straight on this road and do, uh, it's, what, you guys see anything else that I could do here? Oh my God, look at that road. That's gonna suck. That's gonna suck, dude. Oh my god, I gotta go all, like that's a massive detour. I gotta go all the way across here. I mean, it is what it is, what can you do? Son of a biscuit. Gordon says he looked it up, someone beat me to paint dry simulator. It's in VR. I, I, was, gonna, I was gonna add VR, but it was gonna be another microtransaction. You want to watch it on your Oculus? 99 cents an hour. <laughs> do you guys see anything else I can do here? I think I'm... I think I'm fricked. There's no other way around the Sacramento situation. Because they're just going to keep having me turn around and go back and it, it, there's no other roads. How is there no other roads? I guess Northern California doesn't have quite, as, quite that much through there. So we're going to have to go out to... Ukiah, and then to Eureka, and then right across 299 over to Redding and come back down. Hey, it gives us more time and something fun to do. Just bust through the accident. Yeah, I'm, I think so. I think I think I think we should do that. All right, frigate. Detour time. It's gonna cost me extra fuel, extra money. Sweet sassy molasses. We're sucking out here. Not us. Some some like. Do you really have to block off the entire highway? Every exit. Everywhere. I feel like they're doing it just to test me. 
just to see if I'm dedicated. Darn right I am. We'll stay on this for a bit. I, The GPS is super confusing. What was that white thing that just showed up on my screen? It's weird. Alright, let's... We're gonna get the... Oh my god, we're gonna get there Wednesday at 12.51pm? I lost 8 hours of drive time. It was supposed to be before 4pm I was gonna get there. Or 4am. 4, 4 now I'm gonna get there at 12.51. My fuel is low. Oh my god. Yeah, it's you. You gotta roll with the punches, just like everything in life, I suppose. Not everything's gonna go super smooth. Is this the actual exit that I want to get off of up here? I'm gonna double check this just to be sure, because I don't want to get off here and then have bad things happen to me in my life. Let's uh, let's double check. Hit the old pause thing here. Sorry to make you guys have to suffer through this. Yeah, I do want to get off here. I want to take a uh, get off here, take a right, and then it's going to take us out that way. Can I can I like delete this? Can I delete this this route? Um, no. No, I can't delete that. It doesn't really matter. We'll get there. We will get there. All right. So, exit. Exit right, and then drive on that, and then the next exit's right as well. Alright. Imagine this being a game that you actively want to play. <laughs> this is like... What this game is, is like, when life sucks. <laughs> it's what, You're going... You're on a road trip, and there's an accident, and then you got to drive way out of your way. That's pretty much what I'm dealing with right now guy coming. No, I'm going. Don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm, I'm hung up. My trailer's hung up back there. You gotta love it. Alright, coming out. Oh my gosh. This has been the trip from hell. There we go. She made it through. No damage. No damage done. We're now at 1.07 p.m. We're going to make it to our destination. <sighs> have I played SnowRunner before? Oh, man. Have I played SnowRunner before? Check out the playlists. I got a couple highlight videos on the channel, too. Check them out. I had a good time with SnowRunner. That game's very frustrating, though. It's like you're working so hard <laughs> to make, like, 100 feet. SnowRunner, to me, is like friggin' trench warfare, is what SnowRunner feels like. It feels like trench warfare. Sorry, boss. Am I even going to be have this delivery to them on time? I wonder what, wonder what that's going to look like. I'm now eight hours behind where I was going to be. I think the Clark man's up. I hear a little little pitter patter. He slept for what time was it? He slept for about two hours. He also slept after he got up today too. He's a little sleepy man with his sinus infection. Heck, are we even gonna make it to Oregon today? We're gonna get there. If this is an accident, I swear to. It's not an accident. It's just a little construction zone. Speaking of that, when I downloaded the Northwest bundle, there was a a paint DLC in it too, like a stripes paint for your truck. I'll have to figure out how to add that on. If anybody has any experience in that, let me know. And uh, also, there was a forest machinery add-on as well. So I don't know if I can do like cool jobs in the forest now or what that is, but I'll have to figure out how I do it. I feel like that's going to come into play up in Oregon. That seems like a a logging state. I'm still good, right? I'm still good? Yeah, I'm still good. Alright, we're going to hit this red light. This looks exactly like the place where I started. It feels like an episode of the Twilight Zone. 
yeah, I I kind of love Snow Runner. I would I would go back into Snow Runner to, to play again. It wasn't very popular at all on my channel though. I don't know if it was just for the time, but I mean, in my opinion, Snow Runner isn't much different from this. But when I did Snow Runner, my channel pretty much died. Like it, my channel like dug a hole in the mud and then buried itself and then had a giant truck drive over it just to make sure it was down there far enough. And I was like, wow, no one wants to see SnowRunner. But let me tell you, if you guys like me driving a rig through California, why don't you see me trying to go up a freaking mountainside in a Chevy Silverado <laughs> that's full of mud and dirt and you're just winching yourself around. It's a good time. I'd have to go back and figure out all the controls and stuff again, of course, but Maybe we'll do a special edition SnowRunner stream. Thank you for the reminder on that. But yeah, I've, I've played it and I've, I love the heck out of it. It's just my kind of game. It's in the game. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Yeah, no ear infection for Clark, man, thankfully. I'll tell Clark you said hi. He might even come down. You never know. Yeah, I'm going to end up probably... Oh, it's a green light. I'm like that person that's texting. People beeping behind me. I'm probably going to be losing... There was one time that I did lose money on a run. It was the time that Clark Man drove last. And after all of the terrible things that happened, I ended up owing money at the end of it. <laughs> How about that? Gotta love it. Alright. It's almost daytime. We're going to get there at 1.25pm. We're, we're on the right path again now, I guess. I'll check it again when we get down here. I think it's... I'm heading north. So I think I just stay on this forever. But we're going to get into some pretty dicey territory up here with a lot of turns and little switchbacks and stuff. Definitely not the ideal route. But we ain't got forever to wait. Let's go outside the truck, see what things are looking like out here. As I'm hauling this giant cable. Frick. This cable needs moved. That is sick, dude. I'm probably going to crash my truck doing this, but... That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. It's it's a lot harder to drive outside the truck, I find. Maybe I should try it out, though. It gives you an idea, like, that there is actually some cargo that I'm transporting. Because otherwise, you can't really tell. Everything kind of looks like... Looks the same. We go inside. I don't know, I kind of like it in here. It feels realistic. Too bad we're driving north. We could be treated to a nice little sunrise out here. What's the longest road trip you've uh, you managed to survive? 17 hours. No. Um, the furthest we've driven from home in one stretch, without stopping, with the exception of bathroom and for like a, a meal, is we go to North Carolina every year, which is only I mean it's about 12 hours in total from for us. That's driving with a kid and a wife that need to stop every 15 minutes to go to the bathroom. If, if what? If this is not a detour, I'm going to be so jacked. There's always something going on in California, it seems. I don't think I'd want to drive much further than that. But we're in Pennsylvania, so if you're looking for like a gauge... Pennsylvania to... You are running out of fuel. Oh, shit. Takanuses. We'll find some gas. Don't worry. Or some diesel, I should say. It's not been the most ideal trip, but now we're in the middle of the freaking boonies. We're going to run out of fuel out here. Getting 6.2 miles per gallon. It's going to cost like $1,700 to fill this truck up. Shall I check the map and see if we've got anything? We're, we're going to probably run out of, out of fuel. Let me look at the map. Let me take a gander. Oh, we're gonna have to stop for uh, for reinforcements up here in uh, in this town. Okay. So we're gonna get off here and then come right back out and get on. That's weird. That's a weird way to do it. Look at that. I guess I guess it makes sense. Wouldn't I? 
Wouldn't I just come back out here, or is that a one-way? I guess we'll see when we come into this town. I can definitely make it to that town, though. We're not too far out from, uh, from Ukiah. Ukiah, California. If you're from there, let me know if you recognize it. It doesn't look like much of a town, though, honestly. We'll take some bets on how much it's going to take to fill this truck up, too. I might end up coasting in there with just a little bit of fuel that we have left. It's going to be an interesting one. If you're just tuning in, we we had a, a bit of a setback with an accident right outside of Sacramento, which has caused us to go way off track. I'm now delivering this order uh, about eight hours late, nine hours late probably, after I fuel this up. It's an all-day event trying to travel just through California, it seems. Left in the middle of the night last night, early evening actually. And now here we are, and it's it's 6.30 in the morning the next day. I turned off the sleep, so I don't have to sleep at all, thank God. That was a recommendation from the people watching the streams. They're like, turn off sleep. Not super realistic, but I can make more money when I'm driving 24 hours a day. There goes uh, somebody playing Flight Simulator up there. Looked a little low, if you ask me. Probably crashing. Probably going to crash. Let's uh, hit up Ukiah and get some fuel. Get, maybe get some, uh, what kind of snacks you guys want? I'll pick you up something in the store. Get you some Slim Jims. Get some Gatorades and stuff. Because we got a lot of driving here to do. We got a lot. Central Ukiah. Uh, I, I didn't realize it had mobile parts. Maybe we can hit up a McDonald's or something up here. You know, just get a... Get some sandwiches. Fix my freaking... Come on, baby. He's turning, so I'm going. Beauty. Fuel up here on my right. I, I see how this runs. Okay, this is interesting. Wait, can I come back out there? Yeah, I don't know why they're having me do this weird thing. I'm just going to come right back out here. Unless that's going to be too hard to do. I should probably do what the GPS says. Slim Jim and combos. It sounds like a, a wonderful Friday night to me. On a Wednesday. What side's the uh, fuel on, guys? You didn't even check for me. Somebody needs to... <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's pull it forward. 438 a gallon. Oh my god. Alright, how much is it going to cost to fill up, boys? Leave your guess in the chat. There's going to be a bit of a delay, so you'll, your guess will come up probably before I, I actually fill it up. Um, press and hold. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my good god. How many gallons does this thing even hold? We're going to need the fuel anyway. All right, if you guessed $590, <gasps> you guessed right. $590. Uh, junk builds is $800. Thank God, no. Maybe after I buy everybody here Slim Jims, probably get up to that. What else we got out here? Lottery tickets. Maybe that's a better way. Hot dogs. Fifteen hundred dollars, sixteen. Man, you guys are you guys are living today's gas prices. This game came out. <laughs> this game came out a little while ago. So, oh, there's a little picnic table. I feel like that guy's a little lonely out there. Doesn't he look kind of lonely? Can I beep at him? We could, we should assign the horn. We gotta assign the horn a button here, guys. Sorry, I'm taking care of essential things. Uh, keys and buttons. Do we have anything left for the horn? The horn is, uh, oh. Uh, let me try it once. That's like the worst truck horn ever. Didn't even flinch. Alright, should I do what they're telling me to do here? I feel like this is dumb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something probably not recommended. I don't see why. <gasps> Jesus. Where'd you come from? Okay. okay. All, all you guys are coming from that way. I'm going to see if I can do this. I, I, I think this might end up being, ultimately end up being a mistake, but I'm going up this way, so why do I, why, why can't I do this? 
I don't feel like we need to run this thing like it's a go-kart track. Let's just freaking get back on the highway up here. Watch it be one way or something. There's probably some catch. But I feel like if I just take it right up here, I'm right back on the highway to where I'm trying to go to. Yeah, now it fixed itself. Freaking GPS. I don't trust it at all, man. I don't trust it at all. Making these turns is a little nicer when I can see the back of it here. There we go. Beautiful. Didn't lose much time there. We got a fuel tank of gas. Fuel tank of gas. Nice, Greg. We got a fuel tank of gas. Let me in, brother. Thanks. Willingly or unwillingly? I'm coming in. Anybody guess right? $1,200. $720. Uh, we're going to give it to Ann with $720 closest. Everybody went over, but you got pretty darn close. Thankfully, it was only $590. I'm down big money on this trip. We're down to $19,000 cash on hand. But I think our fortune is in Oregon. I think that's where we're really going to start making some money. You can see the scenery starting to change a little bit. We're starting to get into Northern California here with all of the beautiful trees going across some bridges. It's currently 7.14 a.m. Oh god, it's going to take forever. See, instead of being on a highway, we're now on a, on a two-lane. Is that a Subaru in front of me? Kind of looks like it has that logo. It's going to be a long, long time. American Truck Simulator, man. Driving this Kenworth at 24 miles an hour up a mountain. Northern California ain't the place to drive your truck. In fact, it really sucks. I should make the American Truck Simulator Man song. I feel like that could be the thing to really draw the audience in. You know? My paint dry simulator game probably isn't going to work now that someone stole my idea. So I'm thinking American Truck Simulator Man to the tune of Rocket Man by Elton John could be the best marketing that I could have for my streaming series here. If I just really belt it out. be a huge hit. Might send it to Elton too, see what he thinks. Haven't talked to him in a while. Oh, how much is gas here? Did I overpay? Buying gas out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Yeah, it looks like the same price-ish. Ice cream truck? Yeah, yeah. Little shops and things. Cute. Cute little town. What are those, superchargers? Oh, they are. They are superchargers. No kidding. Got the electric car situation happening in California. I wish this thing ran on electric. Could have saved $590 back there. Could have put some solar panels on the trailer back there. Had that plugged into the truck. Making money charging this entire time. Giant battery. School bus. This isn't too bad though. I kind of like the scenic route here a little bit. This is nice driving up through here. Since we're not going to be in California much longer, it's kind of nice getting a little taste of the Northern California life. Being a Southie so long. Oh man. Into the mountains. Hello, officer. I'm not speeding. Got a river over here. I'm going to crash the truck so I can show it to you guys. That's what we do. Looks a little low. I think I think we were in a drought. It's a little low. This is kind of what I picture Oregon looking like. I could it could be completely false though. shall see. I'm going to get into your guys' chat here in a minute. This is a road that I, I can't take my eyes off of or we're going to end up in one of those rock piles back there. You guys know I can't afford to fix this truck. thing was brand new when I bought it. We've driven 1,100 miles in this thing. My trade-in value just plummeted. 
I'm gonna drive this truck until it freaking dies. At least my driver is gonna drive this once I hire him. Or her. I'm not just hiring a man, I might hire a woman. We know they do better work. See how bad of a man driver I am, I'm hiring a real driver. Okay, I need I need to take a gander. Oh. Oh, okay, let's let's leave. Oh my gosh. That looks like like dookie a little bit after playing Flight Simulator, but I'm not judging. This game came out a long time ago. It would be cool to fly this in Flight Simulator just to see what it looks like out of curiosity. Just to take it just a little peek. <laughs> well, man, I got you guys hyped on the SnowRunner. Yeah, dude. Like, if you want to see it, I'm telling you, though, last time I played it, my no one watched the streams. There was like seven people watching me play SnowRunner. To be fair, that was a time when we were doing like nothing but Minecraft, it seemed. And I think a lot of that audience was like, uh, this isn't what I want. But now we have the American Truck Simulator audience here. So if we get you guys into some SnowRunner, you're going to be all beside yourself. You're going to love that. No smooth sailing like this. We dream about a road like this in SnowRunner freaking we'd be up there on the side look up there on the side over here that's where we'd be driving at only it wouldn't be dry it'd be six feet of snow and mud both ways <laughs> the redwoods oh is that where we're at i mean i feel like it this is wonderful <gasps> uh oh what'd that say our customer expects delivery i think i'm gonna lose a lot of money it said something about ten thousand dollars what did that say guys Okay, let me let me take. What did that say? What did that say? Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time, dude. Not my fault. Not my fault. What's what did it say after that? But something like ten thousand dollars. Okay. Well, dude, what can I do? What can I do? You know, I had to drive this anyway. Our customer expects delivery. You shut up, Greg. All right. What did I miss here? What did I miss? Gordon says ice cream truck simulator. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How about candy in a van simulator? Have you guys, would you guys play that one? So the concept is I get a white van in the game and I put free candy on a sign and put it to the outside. And then I drive around schools right as they get out, you know, because that's the popular time when kids are buying candy. And then we sell these kids candy. It's called free candy simulator. That would be a game. The only problem is we would have to probably have some type of background check done on people because not just anybody can have free candy outside of school. You have to meet some some uh, qualifications. You have to um, live in your mom's basement. That's, that's rule number one. You have to have really big thick glasses. Two. You've got to have a mustache. Three. you got to wear gray sweatpants with like stains on them four and uh maybe like a trucker hat no offense truckers out there and uh like a greasy uh wife beater tank top muscle shirt type thing you meet those qualifications you could probably be just a legend at free candy simulator my new game coming out uh, fall 2022 if you guys don't meet those qualifications, you can still try the game. I'm just saying you're probably not going to do very well at it. Especially the mini game where the cops are chasing you and you have to run away from them. Because it's a lot of a lot of dexterity in those. You got to you know be mashing B and X and A all at the same time trying to get away. And then there's that the new uh, expansion pass where we're going to have like the courtroom there where you're trying to uh, get out of doing community service and becoming a predator and you have to play as the lawyer he has to raise suspicion as to whether you were actually guilty or not so if you do a good job at that you get to go scot-free and what you do the next day is you start running more candy around the schools and the game gets progressively harder obviously every time you get caught and you go back to the courtroom it's going to get harder and harder and until eventually you're going to end up in jail. Then it turns into a whole other game. It's called Drop Soap Simulator. <laughs> D 
Don't Drop the Soap Simulator is going to be the game of 2023. Mark my words. One simple task. It's actually an iOS game. Android, Google Play Store, you can find it everywhere. All you have to do is keep your finger on the screen where the soap is. You take your finger off, you drop the soap, game's over. I got, I mean, I've got so many games and works right now, guys. Like, they're all in development. I do this, you know, just to raise money for all of our other ventures. And I've got some great game ideas. I just don't think the world's ready for them just yet. Watch Paint Dry Simulator. Free Candy Simulator. Don't Drop the Soap Simulator. I want to know how many kids' moms just ran in the room and turned this off. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I, I, I'm supposed to be a good... Uh, I'm supposed to be a good role model. There's people relying on me. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Where the heck are we? I'm gonna check in the map. Liam's, he's all about that game. Going. This is what happens when you're driving through California. Oh, baby. We're almost to Eureka. And then we're almost over to our place. Only three hours and nine minutes more of driving. And we're not even in Oregon yet. That's the state line right there, right above Hilt. And then we get in some really interesting names. Lakeview, Klamath Falls, Medford, Coos Bay. Oh, I want to go to Coos Bay. Bend, Oregon. We can go to the, the Nike headquarters. We could go there. See how many little kids they have working on making their shoes. Let's do it. That's not happening in Bend, though. That's happening in uh, Vietnam. Oh my god, I just got hit for $1,400 for speeding past a, a police officer. Oh, this is the least profitable trip I'm ever going to take in my life. I'm down to $17,000. Darn it. At least, at least we're making it out of this godforsaken state where the police are all too ambitious and the traffic accidents are too. California. I'm going to get there at 1.32 p.m. I don't think that's terrible. I don't know when they expected it. But I'm sure if I explain the situation, let them know that I really had a, a terrible setback, I'm sure we can work our way through this. This cable can't be that important. If it was, maybe you should be paying me more. That's all I'll say. $30 an hour doesn't go far when you have a couple accidents, you get a speeding ticket, run a red light. I mean, eventually you just got nothing left for these two spools. All of this trouble that I'm going through. Can I go? Yeah, I guess that's me too. I feel like that light there isn't for me, but I, I think it is. Come on, baby. You can tell just how slow my freaking truck is. Look at, look at that stuff just hauling it. I feel bad for all those people that were behind us. They all got stuck. Come on, baby. I'm going to hit the draft behind this guy. Hit the draft. Oh, nope. I'm not coming over. I'm not coming over. You're going to be stuck there, boss. Unless you pull some wacky stuff. He's going to pull some whack, isn't he? Get ready for this. If he's a typical driver, he'll cut. He'll cut over in front of me. You know any driver would have done that. Respect. I'd like to get over if I could. Because my exit is coming up. This red car behind me, though, is frigging me over. I'm coming over whether you like it or not, sir. I kind of just gave him a little nudge. Had the turn signal on, so don't worry about that, guys. There's our exit, finally. We're going to start heading east now. That was a fun detour. I like things that create good story, you know? Horses out here. Farming Simulator, that's another game that I've played before. I think 19 is available on Game Pass, so if you guys want to see me play Farming Simulator, I'm thinking about trying that again. We'll just be simulating everything. It's a game that won't get you thrown in jail. Probably. 
Clark and I played... If you guys... Many of you guys weren't around for my first farming simulator stream in those days. I... I can't remember the, the, the progression of it, but all these bad things happened to me on that stream. We're going to be going up through a giant mountain here. I see the switchbacks happening. Um, I had a tractor or something. I think it maybe it was a truck. I was driving a truck and I accidentally like, flipped it in the woods. Put it right on its side or something. And then I brought a tractor out to recover it. And I'm pretty sure I flipped the tractor too. And it got to the point where I was just like running out of stuff to bring into the woods that I could get my my stuff fixed or back. It was it was a funny time. I think the premise that I'd go with if I was doing farming simulator would be that I'm gonna try to run this farm into the ground. I mean that would be the most logical thing to happen. But man, some of that stuff in farming simulator was so friggin' difficult. Like, chopping chopping the wood wasn't bad, but trying to load that wood, I was having one heck of a time doing that on uh, keep on console, using the Xbox controller or whatever, PlayStation controller. And I just couldn't figure out what to do in some situations. Like, they gave you tutorials, but it was so much to learn so quickly that I was just having trouble. Maybe if I did it now, and there would be people watching it that have played the game, they can give me advice. Like, I've definitely taken advice and almost every game that I've played, especially Minecraft. Maybe we could pull that off. But I'll download Far Farming Simulator 2019. It's free. Also, Train World Sim, I think, is free as well on Game Pass. But that didn't look nearly as appealing to me. I didn't. F I like driving the truck. I don't want to just press a button in a train and then, like, stand there while the train drives. I want to be the man, and the man doing the stuff with the things. We got a nice vista up here. I like to go up there. I don't think my truck would like it, though. It actually says Vista Point. I probably could go out there, but the truck's gonna get stuck. We are really freaking getting up here. My god. My ears just pop. This elevation, I can't breathe. Alright, now we're going down. Cadillac in front of us. Trying to keep this on the freaking road. A little tight back here. This guy's gonna get smashed into. Okay, we're good, we're good. Holy smokes. I bought this DLC and it's like I gotta spend an hour just to drive to it. Unreal. Two hours just to get to where I'm going right now. I'm gonna be there at 1.51 p.m. Hopefully that's acceptable. This has been the longest, longest drive that I've done so far. This is very long. I wanna get to Oregon though. I won't settle until we get to Oregon. I paid good darn money for that. I'm pretty up here. You got some time to check the scenery as you're going uh, 46 miles an hour up the hill. Lots of recreational things happening up here. Cops. That cool. There he got for $1,400 in that one hit, and then I ran a red light that it wasn't even like a real red light. I'm probably going to fight that in court. Oh my gosh. My truck is... I feel like the engine's going to explode. When is the top of this mountain happening? We are in... Uh, Weaverville? Anybody from Weaverville? Is there an in-game radio? I don't know. I've never never tried, never turned it on. I think you can put your own music in there, but YouTube doesn't like that kind. They're not a huge fan of you playing any kind of music. So your in-game radio is the soothing sounds of Greg's arcade conversation. It's like a talk radio show. We should take call-ins. That'd be hilarious. You're on the air. Yeah, I think you can turn some music on or something here. 
Am I going to? Nope. All you're going to listen to is the sound of my truck. You're going to love it. Canadian, what's up, mother trucker? How you doing? We're trying to go to Oregon, Canadian. I got some new content. We got Oregon. I got Washington. I don't have Canada yet. They haven't come in Canada yet. So maybe one of these DLCs will make our way north into the frozen tundra of Canada and see all the things that are in Canada. Like, you know, things and stuff. Canada things. One of these days. Oh my gosh, trying to make it up here. This has been a grueling trip. I had a major setback with a detour that put me like eight hours back. I've been driving painstakingly through California, heading north towards Oregon. Driving a, a load of cables. I hit a vehicle? Oh my god, yeah, we've had a lot of a lot of problems. Here's what I'm driving. These spools. Spools of cables. I hit a car back there. I ran a red light. I was got caught speeding. I had an accident pulling out of the back of pulling out of the backing out of the garage. It's engine malfunction. Are you Are you kidding me? <laughs> my engine's malfunctioning now. It's it's been great, you know. It's been, it's been wonderful. It's just, it's just wonderful things happening here. Become a truck driver, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's been a nightmare of a life. I haven't been home in months, trying to earn money to buy this truck, which I did. Then I crashed it a bunch of times. My wife left me. The dog moved out. Haven't seen my kids in about a decade. And all I do is drive this truck, drink, sometimes at the same time, and I sleep in that order. When I wake up, I do it again. This is what my life's become. Nothing but truck driving, drinking. Hoping that I move into Oregon. Maybe I'll see better days. Maybe things will be better for me. I've had a really rough run here in California. Too many temptations. Too many terrible things. That's the life that I want to live right there. I don't want to be a truck driver. But does sitting on a, on a yacht out there, <laughs> a little yacht, does it pay the bills? No. i got to earn my keep around here. So we drive. And I just sit here and I think about just how wrong my life went. Sometimes I just want to jerk the wheel into oncoming traffic. <laughs> just, okay, I'm done. I feel like my guy should have a story though, shouldn't he? Like, Mother Truckers needs like a story. It should be like a, a tale of triumph. You know, like, this guy's like, just doing really bad, but then, I don't know, something happens. And then profit. Anne, she says, I have to go to bed. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. At least, um, at least there's somebody that is. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you tomorrow for the Brickitech stream, and maybe even some more of this. The rest of you guys, let's continue our way to Oregon. We're going to get there. Can I just... I was going to make a right-hand turn here. On red. I think that's legal. There's the motel. How close are we? Four miles. Yes. Hopefully, 2.10 uh, p.m. isn't too late for this delivery that was supposed to be here at 4. I just discovered Redding. Looks like a... Uh, my, my truck just shut off again. How do I get my truck serviced? Do I have to find a dealer? I'm gonna have to check that out. My truck's just freaking giving up on life because of all the bad things that's happened to it. I am uh, three miles away now. These darn spools. 
Oh man, I am totally gonna go to that donut place when I'm done delivering this. That looks is that is that Duncan? Is that is that Duncan? Holy sh I scared the sack off me. Alright, let's um let's get this these coils delivered or spools or whatever they are. It's gonna feel like quite the triumph delivering this, I feel like. I'm curious to see if I even end up with any money when it's all said and done. They're like, yeah, no payment. I'm gonna shoot the place up. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot the place up. Oh. What can I get banned? What can I get banned? Oh, man. I gotta, you gotta love yourself some attention seekers. There, you got your attention. Now go on, get Go watch some Fortnite or something. You got things to do. This isn't it. What can I get banned? Alright. Oh, that's a nice car. Let's, uh... Let's deliver this bad boy. Finally. A day later. Is this where we're delivering it? Yeah, right there. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't pass it because we've we've passed delivery points before and it's been it's been a pretty uh, not good thing to happen to us. Lovely. All right, how do they want it? Pull it up. Back her in. I'm backing her in. What do you guys say? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Head towards the red flag. All right. Oh, not what I was trying to do. We got a backer in there. I can do this. This is like my favorite part. I would just like backing in simulator. I would probably just do like little challenges where you just have to back the truck in. Cause that's fun. It's a fun time. I'm going to try to do this. This is going to be like the next 30 minutes of your life. So if you're watching this, welcome. All right, we're gonna put her in reverse. I can hear the uh, the beeps. Oh, look at those textures on that tree. Oh, baby, I've never is that. That's PlayStation two or three right there. All right, so if we turn it that way, if we turn it that way. It's gonna turn the direction that I want. That's the way. I like it. We'll just get kind of close to where we want it, and then we'll we'll come out again and. Get her all fixed up. You kind of just let the trailer do the work. Ah, oh, sugar snatch. Here, 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 here we go, here we go. Turn it like this. This isn't going to be too bad. Or will it be? Alright, so I gotta, I gotta drive forward. This might be like a 78 point uh, reverse, but we, we will get it. We will get it. I'm not a trained truck driver, uh, even though it may look that way while you're watching this. Oh, uh, you got him. You got him. I don't want to skip parking the trailer, no. Of course I don't. This thing can really, uh, really get under that, that trailer, though. I kind of love it. We're getting close. A little, little, uh, little too close. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I can, I can do this. I can do this. How, how close are we, are we to that truck? Too close for comfort. I feel like some people could probably do this in like one, one little, uh, stop. Okay. Let's see here. I want to, uh, I don't want to turn the wheel too much. Because we're getting close.
All right, let's see the damage. Oh god, late. Uh, what do you what do you expect from me? 10 grand. I made 10 racks off that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Late penalty. I lo I only lost $800 for being late. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. I got some good XP off that though. All right, continue. Let's look at the world map. How deep are we into this stream here, boys? Sweet mother, we're an hour and a half deep into this bad boy. Uh, Mark, thanks for coming along, man. Hopefully you saw me back that thing in. That was like the... That was the, uh, I guess, the reason to watch, eh? So now we're in Reading. I gotta get up to, I gotta get up to Medford. Let's get into Medford. I'm gonna check and see what jobs are here in Reading. There's gotta be something. I could probably even leave from the place I'm at and uh, see what's going north. So let's look at the uh, freight market and see what's coming out of Reading. Wrong way. Yeah, baby. Um, wrong way. We have, we have one option so far. Oh, that one, that one kind of works. Oh, that's perfect. Reading to Medford. $28, we're gonna be, oh, it's a dual trailer though. Son of a biscuit. Might have to do it though. What? The, Redding to Redding. <laughs> $600. Hey, that gets us there. That gets us to Lakeview right across the border. $20 per mile. This this could be it. Gets us right across the border. How far is that, though? So there's that one. Or that dual trailer. That takes us there. That one's $28 per mile. What do you guys think? Medford or, or Lakeview? Dang, this, that's a tough decision to make. This gives us a little bit more of... Puts us a little more east. I don't know if I'll ever go over here if I don't do that. I think we're going to do this one, the Lakeview, even though it's only $20. I'm only going to make $4,500 off this. Let's freaking do it, boys. All right, Gordon, thanks for coming in, man. He says, I have to get my dogs to daycare. Nice watching, Chad. If you're still on, when I get back, I'll jump on. I probably won't be. This is going to be the end of it here, Gordon. I appreciate you tuning in, though, brother. And that's everybody here, too. I appreciate you guys. Oh, let's put it in drive. We got to go get another trailer. I was thinking I would just grab one of these. That'd be so perfect, right? I think it said you could view what other jobs this company has, but... I'm going to a very particular place. I have a particular set of skills. I will find the freight, and I will drive it. Alright. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream, though. It's pretty cool to have people watching you play uh, a game such as this. In a time such as this. I think this gaming channel is going to be something someday, though, guys. I, I'm saying it right now. Someday, I'll hopefully, I, someone can find this clip for me. I'll be like, you know, we used to have just a few people watching us play American Truck Simulator. Now we're... Now we got a few more watching us play American Truck Simulator. <laughs> There's nowhere to go from here. This is the pinnacle of gaming. Beautiful truck, sir. I'm just driving across Reading. Looks like a nice little place here. Oh, Portland. I see the sign. You know we're going up that way. You see those Oregon signs. How long till Mrs. Greg's Arcade comes down here and is like, what are you doing? I'll be like, hey, I'm uh, trying to make it to Oregon, you know? It's my life. That's what I do. All right. Over here at the wall. Oh, Fudge. That's not where we're trying to go. I thought, I thought we were going to the Walberts. We're not. We're not. Doesn't this look like a uh, Grand Theft Auto to you? We're going to Eddie's. Eddie's is where we're going. Silly. Roll up on that. Get my job offer in the freight market. I wish you didn't have to like double do this. I've already committed. I've already committed to it. Take that job. Sorry, my trailer's ready. I know some of you guys wanted to see... Uh, um, back her up a little bit. 
Gotta go over here for the deliveries. Oh, so much better having my shifter on this on the actual controller. So much better. Oh gosh. Okay, this is easy. It's easy back then when you don't have a freaking trailer attached to you. Now we will. A little bit more. Hitched. Used packaging, I think it said we're, we're traveling with. Butter and drive, and... We're leaving Eddie's. Got to cut her wide here so we don't hit the side of the trailer off the side of the building. Thanks for all the space there, Ed. Sheesh, look at this. Got to snake her out of here. Oh, that's going to be bad. Um, holy frick. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Eddie needs to really expand his operation, though. But. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's watch ourselves. All right, to Oregon we go, boys. Let's let this guy go. To Oregon! To Oregon. I thought we'd get a chant going, but nobody... Nobody was feeling it. All right. We're going to get there at 7.06 p.m. We're going to, at some point during this commute, we're going to hit Oregon in my Kenworth that I still haven't gotten fixed. But we will get there, baby. Truck's a little bit more nimble without all that cable on the back of it. A little bit lighter. Heading north. Let's go. Almost took out the signage back there. <laughs> Got to remember to cut these turns real wide. Oh, there's an auction going on right now. An auction? Hmm. Oh, my frick. That guy, he was sending it. All right, I'm coming in. Four hours, 21 minutes, 192 miles. Is there going to be a sign when we cross state lines? I haven't seen one yet. get into some rain here eventually. It looks like the clouds are kind of coming in. California, we saw no rain. We saw none of the sorts. Uh, Bailey wants to know if he can say hi. Um, or you can say sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. It's all in good fun here. We're among friends. You don't have to worry about anything. Who can be mad when you're driving to Oregon, you know? Not me. I'm watching. Eureka. There should be like a big sign that says like, Welcome to Oregon. We're getting off this next exit though, so. Take the cruise control off. Turn signal on. I feel like we might already be in Oregon. Let me, I'm gonna check the map. We can't be, we can't be. It was like right on the border. I'll probably be in Oregon and I won't even know it. Sacramento, oh God. I have PTSD about Sacramento. So we're going to go uh, east for a little bit. And then we will find ourselves just just crossing at the very end. It's going to be a ways, I think. Let me look at the map. I just want to see something once. That's how close we are to Oregon. Oh, my God. Yeah, the Oregon line is this line that you see right up here. Right there. So right before Lakeview. Right, right when I get by uh, Coastline Mining. New company, too. We cross into Oregon, so we'll get a little taste of it. But we got to get all the way over there. We uh, started. If you, if you guys just tuned, if you just tuned in, we started in Bakersfield. We drove from Bakersfield all the way through Huron, and then when we got to Sacramento, terrible things happened. We had to go out around here. I still haven't discovered this area yet, but now we are uh, we're creeping our way north to Lakeview, Oregon, and we're gonna make it there in this stream. It's going to be glorious. 
probably even get a sip of water while I'm driving on this road at uh, 36 now, uh, 30, yep, 36 miles an hour. 37, we just hit it. Oh my gosh. What a travel today. You know, I, I could have saved all this. I could have just did a quick job in Oregon. And we could just have been there. But what kind of fun is that? You know, like I want to I wanna do it the right way. Just like I bought my own truck, I want to like drive to Oregon. It's no fun if you just click a button. You're like, hey, you're in Oregon now. Okay, cool. I'm in Oregon. Great. I will do that, though, if they transport me back to California at some point. I don't think they will, though. I think I'm always just going to end up where I where I leave off at. I got a trucker behind me. He's probably pretty jacked. I see other cars, too. Speed limit's 55, and I just hit 50. Just barreling up this mountain. I'm going to need to get some type of upgrades for these states, because my truck can't handle anything. It's just the base, Kenworth. Next episode, we might take a loan out. I'm gonna buy a garage. I'm gonna buy a Mack truck. I'm gonna hire a driver. And we're gonna start making money. The loan on the, I think it's like four or $500,000 I would need to take out. It's gonna be like $7,000 a day. But if we can do a drive for me, if I can do it at least a trip a day, and if my driver can do a trip a day as well, I think we could easily pay for that. I don't really want to take out a loan, but it's kind of like speed running the game, you know? You get like, you have somebody working for you then, and once that loan's paid off, all that money that that person's making is just like going to be piling up. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. I don't really have any other purpose outside it. Once I get the Mack truck that I want, if I kit that out, I guess that would be the only thing that I would probably do, is kit out the Mack truck. I don't care about much more than that. I just want to do drives and see the world. We're freaking sending it now. It's 40 miles an hour. I'm going uh, 60. Okay, we're going into town. 30 miles an hour. Slowing her down. You good on gas? We got enough gas. Maybe gas will be cheaper, or diesel, I should say, will be cheaper in Oregon. You never know. Could get a little less expensive. I feel like California gas prices would just be kind of, kind of sucky. We are still in California, though. Coming up on, uh, does it say candy? Ooh. Okay. I'm down. Speed limit 55, I'm going 57, we're set. Once we get off those freaking mountain tops, we're all right. Beauty. My truck can't handle these steep hills. Looks like we might be getting into another one here. Look how the land changes though. That's one thing that I think is really cool. We're still in the same state, but think about all of the different things we've seen. We've been in, like, flatlands. We've been by the ocean. We've been in the redwoods, basically. We've been on top of mountains, deserted areas, a little bit of everything. I think Oregon's going to be pretty cool, though. I think we're going to see a lot of forests and stuff. We're going to be hauling a lot of logs, I imagine. I'm all about that life. probably be hauling equipment too, like machinery. It's now uh, 5.03 p.m. on a Wednesday. Been driving uh, for 36 hours straight now or something like that without stopping. Oh my gosh, the vistas. The vistas. 
you guys want to see the outside of the truck, I'll try to show that to you here once we get into like a bit of a straightaway. I guess right here is fine. Dang, keep her on the road. We're hauling a pretty standard issue trailer out here. This is not easy to drive when you're kind of at an angle like this. See if I can keep it right inside the white line. Try not to hit this car as it goes by. Oh god. Yeah, I don't like this kind. Ooh, okay, back in. It's scary being out there. Speeding a little bit. Feels good to be able to speed though. We're 77 miles out. That's 73. When I get below, like, I think like below 15, I'm really going to start looking. There's Candy. This is Candy, California. Apparently a place. And we're out of Candy. <laughs> Words you never want to say. Okay, it's 65 here, boss. Hit that pedal right beside the brake and just send it. There you go. My phone's going nuts right now. Oh. Motion detected on my deck. Our cameras uh, catch a lot of cat footage. Cat's going this way. Cat's going that way. Cat's in the middle of the night. Cat's in the middle of the day. I'm stuck. Could pass, but I'm never gonna have enough speed to do that. So we're we're just gonna be behind this guy for a bit. He's getting on it now a little bit. What if my windows are down or up? I don't even know if I can tell. Ooh, a train track. I wonder if an actual train comes through here. That'd be pretty cool. How are we doing on fuel? About half? Might be a good idea to top her off here. Well, I was going to see. It's a real easy on, easy off situation right here. Why don't we top the fuel off? Ah, now frigate. We only got 43 miles left. Let's let's see if we can fill up an ore again. See if it's cheaper. That would have been an easy one right there, though. Top 10 decisions you come to regret. We run out of fuel out here. Oregon State Line, 25 miles. Okay, 25 miles. So when I get to 1570 on my trip thing. That's where the state line's going to be. I'm 25 miles away from hitting Oregon. And we enter some DLC. Imagine, like, the game's just like, you need to buy this. Now it's unlocked. When it gets to 1570, we're going to keep our eyes open, see if we can see the sign. Oregon's looking rather uh, desert-like here. There's something up ahead of me here. Some type of uh, some type of logo that I've never seen before. What is that? What is that? What is this place? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. I should have drove through it. It's a, it's a leaf. Um, I don't know. Is it a thing that you have to like get your truck registered in California when you come in? Oh, it's like an inspection. You have to get your truck inspected for California. Interesting. 
All right. Did uh did the chicken escape? Oh no, no, it's it's the cat and or dog. Are my windows down? Like I can look out my window. Hey, they're down. There's a button to put them up and down. It's not assigned to anything. I've never done anything with it. I would assume that they're up. Come on, baby. Oh, we should be coming up on the line here. Like, right up here. We're at 1569, 1570. You gonna give me a sign? Hey, is this it? Welcome to Oregon, baby. The Oregon Trail awaits you. Sweet! We've now just gone beyond the standard issue game, and we are now in DLC land. Congratulations, guys. We've done it. We've made it to Oregon. It took a lot of driving to do it. A lot of setbacks along the way. But we're in Oregon, and it looks uh, remarkably similar to California so far. But we've got a lot of Oregon to explore, which is what we're going to be doing in these upcoming episodes. We go all over Oregon. We'll go through Washington. We got Idaho. I know uh, Utah is available, which I might buy, depending on how we do. Lakeview discovered. Uh, Colorado is available, which would be awesome. The only one I know I'm not buying for certain, Wyoming is the newest one. Uh, I, I, which I'm not sure is out yet. I'm not gonna buy New Mexico. I don't want it any more like desert states. I want to go into the mountains and I want to see some, see some things like skate parks, stuff like that. Let's check out Lakeview. Looks like a, looks like a nice little place here. They got a, got a movie theater. Nice town. Nice town. Kind of deserted. I don't see anybody. Don't see anybody around? The grocery store, maybe? Nobody's behind me, so I can drive as slow as I want. There is, uh... Voldison Motors. Ooh, maybe we can travel with, uh, like, cars on the back of our trailer. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. Well, I do have cars behind me. My bad. Sorry, guys. Just been, uh, kind of looking at things. Destination is up here. I can't tell what side it's supposed to be on, but... That's on my right. Put my signal on, and uh, we're right here at Sell Goods. Hold your freaking horses. How do I get in there? Are they going to open this up for me? Um. Thank you. I got a little worried there. I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here with like 1,600 trucks behind me. And it would be nice to be able to pull into my destination. My engine just malfunctioned. Are you kidding me? My engine turned off just when I got on top of that. Okay, enter. How do you want it? Right there, or... Eh, we can back it in. You guys think we can do it? I think we can. Oh, crap. That was a big mistake. I don't have as much flexibility as I had last time, because there's... Oh, God. There's a trailer on both sides of me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy. And they put those boxes there? Of course. I might have to skip this, guys. I don't know if I can pull this off. I didn't. I didn't really assess the uh, situation that well, but I'll do my best. I don't have jack for space here. Jack Diddley. Oh my gosh, though, it, it, it's it looks like it might go okay. Oh my gosh. I'm beginning to feel like a... 
an actual truck driver. Okay, let's let's pull forward. And we'll back it up. Let's see here. Like this. We're close. I don't think they're going to give me credit for that, though. First roll of uh, video games, guys. No sharp talking. I can pull forward just a little bit further. Okay. Look at the look at the tolerances here. All right. So I want my wheels to be like this. That'll move my trailer the way that I want it. Let's see what they give me on this. Maybe it'll be close enough. Keep keep going. <laughs> oh my baby. Let's go. That wasn't bad. That was not bad. Forty five hundred bucks. That was pretty good. All right, I'm gonna click continue. Oh, and I leveled up too. I'm thinking, uh, I think what I'd like to do, this is, uh, I got a lot of hazardous stuff. I think I'm gonna go to fragile cargo. It could be kind of cool. I got high value, long distance. I don't really wanna do any more long distance. That just sucks. Fuel, I, fuel would be great. 15% of fuel saved. Let's see, rank one, 5% higher reward for drilling fragile cargo. Yeah, I'm going to do on fragile just so we can get like new stuff in that because I want to drive like fragile stuff. Just for fun, we'll become well rounded. Level 10, not bad. My level is, my rating is a 3.3. .3. Dang, I like this game, guys. This game is so much fun. This is American Truck Simulator, if you, if you, if you couldn't tell. We got all kinds of new places to explore if we look at the world map. We just made it. We just made it into Oregon. And we've got this whole state to explore. And then we've got Washington right above it, which is this state up here. And then we've got Idaho, which is this state over here. We've got three states in this section that we can we can check out. I mean, this is what we explored in California. And we barely, we barely even touched Nevada. We have so much of Nevada to do. We've got so much of, I'm sorry, that's Arizona. We got so much of Arizona, so much of Nevada. There's a lot to explore in this game. Only 15% explored. We got routes to go, places to see. I want to I want to see it all, but I really want to see this expansion and see what it's like. We'll come back down. I feel like I I feel like California is good. What I'm probably going to do is hit up a bunch of Oregon. We'll hit our go up our routes on Washington. Go back down through Idaho, and then we keep traveling south all throughout Nevada and see what it's like. And then I'll download Utah. We'll buy Utah. And then we'll get Colorado. So these are all the states that you can get. I think Wyoming's available. And this is this is New Mexico, which I'm I'm not gonna get New Mexico. I just I don't want to go down there necessarily. I, I like this. I want to be in here. I want to be over here. I want to be like here. I think Utah is gonna be awesome. But yeah, dude, this is uh it's fun. It's fun stuff. I'm I'm having a blast at this game, as you can probably tell. Um it's 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 just it's something. It's something that um, would normally be boring, but I find fun just because it gives you jobs to do, and then you got places to go. It's fun just chatting about random stuff while I'm driving. I obviously like doing the the reverse jobs. That's kind of fun too. Just kind of trying to back it in, and like if they just made that a challenge, like where you could go in and do a bunch of those, I would probably just play that. It's like playing Mario Party instead of playing the game. You just do the mini games. That's kind of what the reverse challenges are. But that's it for today. I would like to go back into Red Dead. I was supposed to do that today, but then this this called me when I downloaded these. I paid $13 for those expansions. $5 for the game when it was on sale, which I think it's on sale right now if you want to buy it. Euro Truck Simulator 2 is also on sale for $5. I've got $18 in this game, and this is our eighth episode where I've played this for, what are we at, like two hours right now? Something like that? Yeah, just about two hours. I think I got my money's worth out of this, and it's it's only begun. 
only just begun. So on that, thank you guys all for tuning in this afternoon slash evening of American Truck Simulator. If you'd like to come back tomorrow at some point, I'll try to be playing some Red Dead, but Clark is going to be home, so it'd have to be in the evening probably because it's not quite the most appropriate game. Uh, we might end up playing something else just because of that. But lots of Red Dead content coming. If you would like to watch all of our stuff when it's live, because I know a lot of people, in fact, the vast majority of people are watching this after it's after it's already played through. If you'd like to hang out with me and chat while we're driving, turn notifications on if you want to be there. If not, that's fine too. You can watch it later. Uh, on that, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next American Truck Simulator stream.